As I mentioned, there is a major development in the talks to end that strike in the Reynolds School District, but it's not good news for students who need to get back to the classroom before the end of the school year. Coin Local 6 reporter Ken Body is live at district headquarters in Troutdale with the late breaking developments. Ken? Well, Mike, negotiations between both sides broke off about a half hour ago after a marathon bargaining session that began at 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon. The biggest issue right now is money, and on that issue, they are still very far apart. Picket lines went up at 7 o'clock this morning outside the schools that are part of the Reynolds District. Classes already canceled because of the possibility of the strike. And now that possibility is a reality. Nearly 11,000 students are affected, and after nearly a year of negotiations, the 11th hour came and went. The district did concede some contract language, including more planning time for teachers. But in this strapped budget environment, the money is the hang-up. We gave the teachers, uh, the REA, a proposal of about four, just under $4 million for a three-year uh, three contract. You know, that's just a little over a million dollars a year, and um, for the compensation we felt was due our members, it's hard to make it work. We like working with the kids, that's why we're teachers, and we do not want to be doing this ever. Uh, Reynolds School District has never had a strike before, and this is the first time that we've been driven to this point. There's only about three weeks left to the school year, three weeks that will be lost if there's no settlement soon. The district is bringing in tutors for seniors so they can graduate on time this year. Now, both sides have agreed to go back to the bargaining table on Wednesday at 9 in the morning, but with that schedule, the very soonest that students could be back in class is Thursday. Reporting for you live in Wood Village, Ken Body, Coin Local 6.